guys, there's only three days left for this truck giveaway along with $35,000 cash. And we're about to do the craziest multiplier we have ever done. Right now we're running 25X, but we're bumping it up to 50X for 24 hours only, guys. That's gonna increase your chances of possibly taking this sucker home like crazy. And 50X is the highest we'll ever go this giveaway. So don't miss out on this opportunity of a lifetime. Check out goonsquad.com, check out all the official rules, copy some gear, and you might just be the lucky one. That right there is the whole back half of a Corvette C8 right there. Oh, dude. Let me see. Close your eyes. <laughs> dude, you see? look at oh. this. Hey, I'm gonna lay down. You're gonna drive over me. Go ahead, go straight. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are here at the Goon Squad Garage and today we're gonna continue working on our brand new build, the 2023 Corvette C8. And as you guys seen previously, we just ripped apart a bunch of damaged components, mainly in the rear, a little bit on the side right here. And I gotta say by far the toughest was definitely this rocker panel right here held on by a bunch of glue panel bond as you guys can tell there's just a bunch of pieces of it just scattered throughout the shop but today guys we're digging even deeper because we got some pretty crazy things that we got to replace including this whole entire fiberglass piece slash trunk tub area right here and in order to remove that we got to remove this other rocker panel which that's exactly what we're going to do today but the main thing is to basically expose this frame rail. So all that stuff has got to come off. That way we can see exactly what's going on with this frame rail right here. So I don't think it's actually bent. I believe just the rear section of it is actually like cracked off or something. And uh, we want to just see if we can maybe save it. I think there's a slight chance that we can maybe just save that without replacing that whole entire rail, which that would be pretty cool because we haven't even been able to purchase that right there or even order it. So um, I think honestly, worst case, if it really comes down to it, we gotta replace it. We'll find it either from a dealer or a parts car. But right now we really wanna see all the details inside of there. So I say we go ahead, bring in some tools and rip this sucker completely apart. this dude, man second time around man popped it right off dude that's what i'm talking about definitely did a bunch more heating i guess that's what breaks up the glue right yeah heated it for a couple hours i mean this still took a good bit of time just as long as that side just not as much cutting and breaking and not as much as that fiberglass dust which is just kind of bad it gets in your skin get it all itchy but that's it man got it all popped off a little bit cleaner and it looks good under here dude. yes sir and i'm thinking actually this piece might be pretty simple because back here i don't think there's any glue I, look at that it's already moving dude yeah i think the only glue is right here which there's probably going to be a ton of glue i kind of see it already like where it oozed out when they put it on there so this is probably going to be the next most difficult part so we're probably going to have to pop out the seats so we can get in here stand in here pry all that stuff off and also once we get the seats out might as well go ahead and get these seat belts out because this is the Ooh. only thing that got stuck or exploded during the accident no airbags just the seat belts so we can go ahead and ship those suckers off and get those repaired and uh that's pretty get, much it for get them now repaired in a beautiful color what do you think blue dude i don't know man we could do blue like this wait what is a porsche blue that porsche blue actually matches the porsche color the seat belts yep. i wonder if we can get this darker bluish purple you know what i mean that would be pretty cool we'll just have to talk to lnd solutions but i guess right now let's let's try to pop that piece off dude let's do it Car washes for everybody, guys. Let's see what this secret message is right here. Oh, that's somebody's phone number. 
Them, they might have the key. Let's call them right now. Dude, seriously. How cool would that be if we found the... Is that, is that somebody's actual name? Rewards, bro? We got rewards? That's what I'm saying. Look, you got an almond. Kind of hungry, dude. Turd. BC, what are these? What do we have here? Is this Santa Claus? Santa! What? Can we open these right now? Or wait till Christmas? Wait till Christmas. Seriously? Oh, uh, fine. Let's see, maybe. Bro, let me feel it. Let me guess. Guess. What do you think it is? I know exactly what it is. You were talking to me about this earlier. Nah, what, what? is it? What do you think it is? I know what it is. That's insane, dude. That's insane. <laughs> That's actually easy. That was probably easier than that rocker panel, wouldn't you say? Oh, yeah. I mean, most of the stuff was already broken. So, I mean, the only hard stuff was this, which that was super simple. Dude. But, dude, look at this, man. This looks like a kit. This almost looks here, like a dude. McLaren rear end now, dude. You know what I mean? That is what I'm talking It does definitely look like something exotic right here. So cool how this right here pretty much left behind. I think, uh, I don't know if our new piece comes with this, but I just left it behind just in case if we, it doesn't come with it, we can go ahead and just put it right on top of this. But dude, that is Dang, insane. That is crazy. And look, oh, we got some damage on this frame rail as well. Look at that right there, dude. I think what some of this, is that? I think this piece slides in and the piece where it kind of slides in, it broke off. So if we can possibly fix that, that would be awesome. But yep. We still want to just tear all this off, but dude, this looks insane. Dude, this dude. looks so crazy. You got computer modules dangling all over the place. I wonder how the suspension is right here. We never really looked at it, so we'll have to take a peek at that suspension. We got to tear apart a few more things, but hopefully they can get that piece for us soon. And these frame, oh my goodness. We these... need everything. <laughs> yeah, we need everything here really soon because we're going to be pretty much ready for it. Oh, dude, Let me see. close your eyes. <laughs> Dude, you see? look at oh, this. Oh, no, yeah. That's not fixable right there. Guys, that's that, devastating right there. That's a crack. That's that's a crack. I thought, honestly, that they weren't even bent over no. or moved over, but I guess with aluminum, it cracks. It doesn't even bend, honestly. It's just like cracked. Dude, cracked up, oh, man. That's crazy. Where does it even attach over here, though? That's the thing, dude. It just, I think on the pictures, it looks like it attaches somewhere, somewhere on the right side. Here. It just unbolts. Probably some panel bond. Shouldn't be too difficult, honestly, to replace hey, this. Luckily, um, we're doing a cam in this motor anyways, <laughs> so it needs to come out. We actually got somebody coming tomorrow to take the track hawk to do that 1,000 horsepower and cam package. And also, we're going to talk about possibly doing a cam on this thing right here. Oh, that would be epic, dude. But that's crazy right there. That crack in that frame rail. I guess as of right now, let's what tear apart a few more things what do you say dude yeah take off this rear section take off all this take off the exhaust and just clear this area
So guys, I think we just got ourselves in a little bit bigger pickle jar than we were, dude. You know what I mean? Because we just took off the rest of the stuff down here. Look at how, look how crazy that looks. Just like a supercar, got your transmission in the back, which just barely got touched by this exhaust right there. Everything looks pretty good. Definitely needs a new subframe. So this whole entire rear end is pretty much kaplacked, dude. I mean, two frame rails that are needing to be changed. The rear subframe, so you're gonna definitely drop the engine and all that crazy stuff. I mean, this is just insane. So first of all, this exhaust, once we pop this thing off, possibly the heaviest exhaust out of any stock exhaust we've ever felt. And it has four actuators, one though on the tips, one on the actual pipes that come out. Dude, if those things shut, you ain't starting your car, man. That's just weird, dude. What what do you think that's for Safety right there? Safety feature right there so nobody steals your car or, or something, Or what if, dude? like, half the engine cuts off, you know, during driving to save on fuel or whatnot, man? That That's weird. I've never seen that before, but the craziest thing out of everything is what we found out about this crash bar. This is actually fiberglass. This is paper mache right here. This thing did not protect anything, and that's exactly why these Corvettes get completely destroyed in the rear, even on a slight hit. I think that may be a design flaw or they're probably like let's make the exhaust heavy and make that a bumper because that's way more stronger than this thing dude that's insane dude. yeah it honestly doesn't add up right there dude because that's supposed to protect it but honestly the exhaust did more protection than this right here dude insane right there so we're just thinking and just looking at everything just trying to figure out how exactly we're going to do this because the engine definitely needs to be dropped so we're like if we drop the engine and then we can't get these parts right here we're going to be just sitting around with the engine and a shell just laying around the shop and trying to find stuff out we decided that we possibly might just get a parts car i think personally that would be the best thing because you'll get all the parts right away and you can just swap everything right away too you yep. know what i mean and you know what we already found the perfect car in atlanta actually on the auction it's smashed in the front and yep. it's got everything perfect in the rear Dude, I think that's gonna be the way to go, dude. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it has everything that we need. We're not, we don't have to wait on no certifications or anything like that. You know, we'll yep. just drop the engine and start swapping things. So we may even cancel the order to all those parts from the dealership because we haven't paid for them. They just threw them in the computer. We'll probably call them up if we win that car and we possibly will win a parts car. So I say we just go ahead, clean all this up and just keep on tearing this thing apart. Outside, we might touch that thousand horsepower mark, but definitely over a thousand at the crankshaft, 110 percent, no doubts on that. Oh, yeah, um, but they respond so well to the pulleys, cam, and all that, it's it's crazy. So, y'all do um, ported superchargers? We have an option for ported superchargers, you go like con ported supercharger, and that's gonna give you more airflow, more air coming in, more air coming out, more power. You Actually trying to buy a parts car tomorrow. Uh -huh. The one that we want to buy is smashed in the front, mm -hmm. and so everything's going to just best swap of both everything. Worlds. Exactly. Yep. <laughs> well, shoot. Now's the time to take to us so we can put a cam in it because we have to Heck drop yeah. all this down on the ground to cam these things. Throw some headers so, on it, full of exhaust. Um, that's system. exactly what we're doing. Yep. So yeah. Well. So really, it's instead of y'all putting this thing all the way back together, you know, we still have to. Swing yeah. It back well, there's still going to be a ton of work before we put it back in. We're going to drop it. We got to replace these two frame rails. Could you just take the motor, do the work to it? I mean, and then later we put yeah. it in the car and then yeah. you tune it? Yeah, that yeah. works. We can do that. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so fast lane performance just pretty much took the track hawk to do that 1000 horsepower in cam package guys. We're super pumped about that because that track hawk is going to be a night and day difference from what it is. Pretty much bone stock, it's just got a cold air intake and a coarse exhaust. 
sounds sick, but you know what? I think it is lacking a little bit of power. I ain't gonna lie, we drove that thing a lot, super fast, but thousand horsepower ain't gonna hurt. Hey, you know what I mean? I mean, compared to some of the fast cars we have driven, man, that thing exactly. feels weak now, dude. Exactly, you know what? They're gonna take care of it, and that thing is just gonna be absolutely insane, and we're not stopping there, guys. We'll talk about that a little bit later, but also, we did talk about doing the camps to this car right here, and I think uh, what we're gonna do is pretty much, if we if we win this car tomorrow, we're gonna have two motors to work with. So we can be without one motor, we'll probably drop it off over there at their shop, and they can probably start working on that cam. And then later on, when we're ready for that motor to be put back in after we swap out the frame rails, we'll be able to have a cammed C8 Corvette. It's gonna be absolutely wild, but you know what, I think that's pretty much all we can really do to this car, honestly, other than drop the motor. So I think we're gonna probably save that for the next video, but honestly, we're kind of at a standstill without these parts or that parts car, which honestly, we have to get that parts car tomorrow. And I'm excited about it because it's the perfect car. Literally, the whole rear end is perfect, but the front end is just destroyed. So I don't think anybody's gonna really want to- Hopefully you don't go for too much, yep. dude. <laughs> I'm hoping so, but you know what? We'll just have to just wait and see and just hope, well, we just wish for the best pretty much. But right now, guys, we got another epic thing that we got to go pick up and that is our TRX. Let's go to the shop and tell you guys where it's been. Hey, I'm gonna lay down. You're gonna drive over me. Go ahead, go straight. Make sure everything was good under there. We ain't driven this thing for a while. This thing's been sitting. Check. All right, look at that beauty over there. Oh my gosh. It's been a minute. What a beast. guys so the trx is finally back guys after a couple of months and basically we took it to a shop to fix that rear axle because i think the bearings were shot so we got the perfect shop down the road and it was just hard to get those bearings so it took a little bit of time but you know what they finally got it fixed this sucker runs absolutely perfectly other than the four-wheel drive or the all-wheel drive is always on for some reason i think we just got to reprogram it the or, four high or the four high we need yeah. it in four all-wheel drive yep exactly yeah so we just got to get that programmed which should be super simple but for the most part love this truck right here i hardly ever drive it but after driving it today i was like dang dude i am happy we got this truck in our fleet right here looks pretty dang insane next to this one but honestly i'm a diesel guy what about you dude, dude? i don't know man this front end on this 2500 looks sick all oh, white dude what if we did that to the trx man uh, i don't know about that i think the trx flows pretty dang perfect right there but you know what we might do some other goodies to this thing after the guys pulled up with that 1000 horsepower trx man that got us thinking a little bit dude. what if <laughs> what if dude this thing honestly i feel like it doesn't really need that power but that you never can hurts all, never hurts never man. hurts that's gonna be all for today's video guys also be sure to wish us luck on the parts car that plays tomorrow that way we can get this sucker back on the road as soon as possible but with that being said thank you guys so much for all the love and support definitely drop your comments and thoughts down below we'll catch you guys next time <laughs>